Ostradamus here in it to win it week 10 want to go all home teams this weekend except for the Monday night game but uh, tonight's Thursday night game and all the games Sunday I like the home teams to win and to cover the points tonight's Cleveland Baltimore game I thought uh, Baltimore would be a real big uh, 11 point favorite uh, it was eight now it's only seven and a half I don't have any reason to think uh, Balt Baltimore won't win and cover the uh, my buddy the green thief thinks Cleveland will show up tonight I don't know uh, plus on the away teams on the short week usually don't favor well so I think Baltimore will roll Houston at Jacksonville I thought uh, Jacksonville should have been a, a small favorite uh, but I thought the game, I thought they'd be two-point underdogs. I think this game might have been a, a coin toss, but now Jacksonville is a two-point two favorite, or one and a half, real low point total, 42 points. I picked Jacksonville to win the division at the beginning of the season. I soured on them, picked against them the last couple weeks, and uh, I'm going to get back on their bandwagon this week. Houston's... Uh, Probably a better team, but since this game's in Jacksonville, and Jacksonville needs a win, and I like that they're their favorite. Um, both teams have pretty good playmakers. Jacksonville's are a little bang, banged up, but Houston's not really getting the ball to their, their guys. Neither team's got a good running game, so probably a real sloppy game. Uh, I don't I don't get the real low point total. Like Houston's defense is pretty good, and uh, as long as Jacksonville's within striking distance late in the game, I think they'll win. Uh, KC at Carolina. I thought Carolina would be a three-point favorite, and they are. Uh, if Alex Smith plays and is healthy, uh, Kansas City could definitely win this game. But I want to pick uh, Carolina to win um, by four, 24-20, 20, something like that. Um, the total is 44-and-a-half. I think Carolina will get back to trying the just a little five-yard plays, moving the ball getting third and shorts and converting. You got uh, Kansas City's, both teams have great front sevens. Uh, Kansas City's got a way better, they got a big time secondary. So I think Carolina will be careful with the ball and, and get a win here. But if uh, KC's healthy, this should be a real exciting game for sure. Uh, KC hasn't managed to get the running game they've had with, Char with Charles, but uh, they've, they've been passing the ball pretty well this season. And I think they'll, Probably score some points, whether it's Foles or Smith playing QB. Denver at New Orleans. I thought New Orleans would be a two-point favorite, and uh, it opened at two. Now it's at three as of Thursday, and uh, <clears throat> I definitely like New Orleans in, in this game just because uh, Denver's got the better record, but uh, it's probably the better better team. But Drew Brees is definitely a better quarterback, and uh, Denver doesn't play a lot of games in uh, domes either, so I don't know if that'll be in play into it or not. The point total is pretty high. It's 49, so I'm going to pick uh, New Orleans to win 28-23. Uh, Denver, Denver's definitely got a big-time defense, but they've got a couple injuries that they're dealing with now, and uh, uh, Drew Brees is definitely going to go after those backups, and uh, I think he'll get a couple of second-half touchdowns. And uh, they'll win and, and cover. L.A. at uh, New York. I thought the Jets would be a four-point favorite, and they're only one and a half. I don't know if, uh, what Fitzpatrick's deal is. I, I didn't check that. Uh, if he doesn't play, I like L.A. to win, even though I don't know what the deal is with not playing the rookie quarterback. Uh, I, I don't get it. But uh, and the Jets are a good defense, but it wouldn't be the worst game to get them in, especially if they're losing. The point total is only 40. 40, uh, 39 and a half to 40 and a half. So don't, it's probably be a real ugly game, but it could be defensive touchdowns, special teams touchdowns, things like that. I like the Jets, but I definitely don't uh, like them that much. L LA Rams have a pretty solid, possibly top 10. They're, they're pretty good on defense. So I, this probably will be an ugly game. I think uh, Fitzpatrick plays. He'll make uh, a few a few plays, especially if Marshall's on his game. Atlanta at Philly. This is a fantastic matchup. Um, 
I've been uh, picking Atlanta all, all season uh, for a while now. And I've pick, been picking against Philly for a while. Uh, so I'm going to pick uh, Philly. I thought they'd be uh, a, a one-and-a-half point favorite. They're a one-and-a-half-point underdog just because Atlanta's uh, scoring a ton of points. Those runners, 50-and-a-half. So if it's a nice day in Philadelphia, this will probably be a real high-scoring game. I think Wentz will get back going again. I think Sproles will have a big game. My buddy Carl, uh, big Falcons fan, he thinks the Falcons are going to win. But he was uh, – Picking, a, he didn't think they'd beat the Packers, and I, and I, I did. Uh, they got lucky to win that game, but uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Philly wins. Uh, real tight game. Uh, probably real high scoring too. I, if, if it, it'll be weird if it's a haven't been many cold weather games yet. So if uh, two teams that like to throw the ball around, if it's cold, it, it'll be interesting to see the first game like that this year. Minnesota, Washington. I thought Washington would be a three-point favorite. They're only two and a half. Um, total is only 41 and a half, 42. Uh, wise guys have been real high on both these, these teams this year. Um, I think Washington will win the, win the game and cover just because Minnesota hasn't looked that good. The uh, running game's definitely not looking good. Or Washington can run the ball a little bit. I think they're coming off a of bye week as well. Uh, you know, they think looks like uh, expecting a low, a low scoring game which will probably be the case but uh, I think Washington will, will make some plays uh, kind of weird phase for Minnesota right now after getting looking so good so will Bradford have time to throw and get back to do, doing his thing uh, I don't know I don't think it'll be this week I'm not counting Minnesota totally out yet uh, still a contender but maybe not this week Green Bay at Tennessee I thought Tennessee would be a three-point underdog, and uh, they're only three or even two and a half. So I think Tennessee will win this game straight up. Uh, Green Bay super banged up, has been for a while. Uh, Tennessee needs a win like this, uh, too. It would be a huge win. They've uh, got four wins. I think they lost last week. Uh, San Diego didn't look that great. But if they can run the ball, you know, just enough to open up some, some plays, I think they'll win a close game for some reason. I don't know. Good. Green Bay's definitely got a lot of weapons. Uh, this You look at this game at the beginning of the season, you think Green Bay gets a road win. Um, and they could easily. I by no means like Tennessee that much, but it uh, just kind of looks like a, a strange game to me. With uh, I think t Tennessee would probably want it more. Uh, Chicago at Tampa Bay. I thought Tampa Bay would be a, a solid uh, three-point or so favorite, and uh, they're, all, they're actually a one, one-and-a-half-point underdog, which uh, is probably so it's one of the strangest-looking ones to me this week. Um, point total is pretty high, 45-and-a-half, 46. Um, Tampa Bay's had a ton of changes at running back, so that's probably got something to do with it. Cutler did look good. He kind of got uh, – I bashed him as much as well as everybody else and he came back and he looked uh, really sharp throwing nice nice spirals getting out Sean Jeffrey the ball so maybe he is back Tampa Bay is definitely not the greatest team Mike Evans is a big time player though so I think this will be a high scoring game I think they'll definitely uh, probably be maybe 50 something points but uh, I think Tampa Bay will win not by much this might be in a, a more interesting game than it looks like Miami at San, San Diego. Um, I thought San Diego would be a four-point favorite, and they are. Um, I think San Diego will win and, and cover. This is kind of an interesting game. Miami's finally getting fired up and looking like a good team. But uh, I just saw that Jarvis Landry might not play, which is be a huge loss. If he doesn't play, I definitely like San Diego, even though they don't have everything figured out. You know, Gates is probably their best receiver this year, and he's uh, 45 years old. So, um, I'll, I'll pick San Diego. I've, I've actually been pretty spot on. There, San Diego is kind of an unpredictable team, but they're starting to look like pretty legit. And uh, it's such a tough division. I hope they remain pretty good because uh, the AFC West games are are pretty nice this year. San Francisco to Arizona. I thought 
Arizona to be a 13 and a half point favorite, then I was thinking they might be even 14, 14 and a half. Right now they're 13 and a half. I think they'll be 14 by game time, and uh, there's no reason not to pick them. San Fran looks terrible. For, uh, totals 48 and a half, or, or 48. So I think Arizona will definitely score over 31 points and uh, win this game. San Fran total disarray. Uh, a good game for Carson Palmer. I think Arizona will definitely be in the wild card mix, and uh, that's all it'll take for a veteran team like that. If they get some guys healthy, they'll, they'll be in the mix towards the end. Dallas at Pittsburgh. This is a fantastic matchup. I thought Pittsburgh would be a three-point favorite. Even though Dallas has got a way better record, uh, they're only two and a half. Uh, Froth said the same thing last week. Uh, Frothsburgers healthy. I think Pittsburgh will win and cover. If he looks like he did last week, I think Dallas will win again. The total is 50, so it's going to be a high scoring game. I think for sure. I'm going to take Pitt 28 uh, 23. Um, Pittsburgh's got a ton of weapons. Dallas having Des Bryant. Get right back in the mix immediately. They look like a fantastic team. So, uh, I, I, it's been obvious to me Dallas is a, is a good team the last uh, month or so, or even really from the beginning of the season. That they had the one loss at the beginning, but uh, they I think they looked all right in that game too. But uh, yeah, I think Pittsburgh's going to get going at some point, and maybe their defense shows up. Their defense really hadn't done much at all. You got a home game. This will be another one where the weather might be a factor. Uh, so I'm going to pick uh, Pittsburgh, but uh, definitely enjoy watching this Dallas team. Seattle at New England. Uh, after the way we Seattle looked last week, I figured they'd be an eight point underdog, maybe even eight and a half, and they're seven and a half. And uh, as much as I'd like for them to win this game, uh, I don't think uh, it's, I think New England probably win by ten. Uh, Seattle beat New England uh, Russell's rookie year, Bobby's rookie year, when they were just getting uh, rolling. It was a crucial game by halfway about this point in the season. So Seattle is built to uh, play against a team like New England, but uh, most teams don't have Gronkowski and all the weapons they got and the big time quarterback. So. If Seattle can run the ball, which they didn't do at all last week and all the two weeks before that, really, um, they're, they're going to need that and uh, some special teams plays, which I think might be coming. Seattle special teams look pretty good this year, but you got to think New England's good at that, too. So uh, I hope it'll, it'll be a good game, but uh, I think New England will definitely score. Close to 30. Unless Michael, if Michael Bennett and Cam Chancellor come back, this could be a real interesting game. But them coming, uh, especially Cam's missed a lot of time. Bennett will be fine if he can play. He's a big time player. And uh, even though his uh, replacements have been good, they haven't, he's a special player, especially when he plays with Cliff Averill. So if both of them, if they play and get, get the pass rush on Brady, it'll be an interesting game. Otherwise, I, I doubt it. Cincinnati at the Giants. I thought the Giants would be a three-point favorite, and they were a two-point favorite, but now the game's, as of Thursday, I think, became a coin toss. And I like Cincinnati uh, with the three, and I like them straight up. I, uh, I think this, this is the only uh, road team I'm picking this week. Cincinnati wins games like this and gets going at this point in the season. The Giants kind of blow games like this almost every point in the season. Um, especially if Dallas loses, there won't be. If, if Dallas wins, there'll be a lot of pressure to win this game. And uh, Cincinnati looks has looked slow on defense. They've had all, a lot of veterans that are getting uh, 30 and older and uh, aren't the elite playmakers that they used to be, but they're definitely smart football players. So uh, this will be a real interesting game. Uh, I think Beckham will definitely get loose, but uh, I think they'll contain him and uh, win the game. AJ obviously have a big game. Bernard, I think, will have a nice game as well. I think Cincinnati will get back on track. I think Giants will be in the mix. Both these teams will be in the mix all the way out. All right. Peace, bitches.